right guys, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna show you how to turn all these, now of course I've got probably a hundred more, and then Blu-rays too, all these into how you can access them on Plex through any iOS device or Android device, smart TV, what have you. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. All right, so one of the first things I purchased was this NAS, which is a network area storage. Uh, or attached storage, network attached storage. So it's attached to your local uh, system here. And so I have an eight terabyte uh, Western digital hard drive that I bought and added to it. This is very simple. So you just buy this, this is basically an empty shell, obviously has uh, hardware inside of it, but it's open. You take your you know hard drive, slide it in, connects, and then you go to find.synology. This is what this one is, Synology. And I'll put the link below. Uh, and then it'll basically, it'll find yours on the system there. So when you go into any web browser, hit find Synology, and then it'll help you walk, walk through the whole setup process. And so what we're gonna do is kind of get into that process. Right now you can see I'm downloading, ripping one on a Make MKV Beta. Uh, DVD ripper, and then I'm able to transfer this over to the Synology NAS. And then when, I, when we do that, we set it up to where Plex can then recognize it and read it. Um, and then you can access it on your device. So I'll show you how to do all that. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to um, get all your videos on to Plex, which is a free, um, streaming server so you can you know access this through any iOS device or um, smart TV or on your computer of course but most people are going to want to watch movies that they have uh, you know on old DVD and Blu-ray on their phone or iPad or whatever and so if you want to watch it on your phone or iPad you will have to uh, pay a little additional service I believe it's a one-time app fee of $4.99 um, if you want to do that um, on your phone uh, you can, or you can buy a lifetime version and then you can basically access it uh, when you're away um, but the whole point is that all your movies are kept on your um, own server at your home rather than in the cloud um, and so you're able to rip them keep them once you legally own and then access them on your smart device and so um, this is how you can start to do it. So I have one that I've just ripped, the Polar Express, as you can see here, using this uh, Make MKV Beta. So you can just go on, you know, Google that, download that software, and this will rip your DVD. And you can choose what you want to rip. You can, you know, there's lots of different things you can choose from, uh, you know, subtitles in Spanish. I don't know why I did that, but uh, you wouldn't need all, you know, some of that stuff if you are, are going to just want the English versions of things like that. And so. Once we've ripped it, now I save it onto my desktop, just in a file on my desktop called Movies. And then what I do is, there it is, you can see, it's been saved here in this MKV um, ending. So you want that to be named that file. So what then I do is I take it, and I've created files on my NAS, okay? So once you've installed and created your NAS, you want to go to Control Panel, and you want to hit shared folder and you want to create you don't want to use one of these ones that they have already created okay uh, this is direct from one of the plex engineers so you don't want to do that you want to create your own so you can create um, and then you uh, name it so let's name um, Ro uh, romantic movies I guess I don't know let's see just 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 put kids movies up in there kids movies and you want to, if you want to enable it, you can restrict the access to administrators only, whatever you want to do. Hit next. I don't do any encryption here. <coughs> so it's called Kids Movies. Hit apply. And then you're going to need to do a couple more things just to make sure that Plex can see this once you've uploaded it to your storage here. So uh, I go ahead and I give myself the administrator and myself um, access. But you must go ahead and give Plex read-only. You don't need read-write from Plex, but you just need read-only. Hit OK. That way, when you do upload a movie to this folder from your desktop, and I'll, then what I do is I delete them from my desktop because I don't need them anymore. I won't take up that space. So let's open up uh, Christmas movies here. So we'll, we'll close that out. We'll come back to File Station. 
here's Christmas movies and what I do is I just drag it over and you'll see it's going to drop a file here and I just you know it gives you this hey if you see both of them there what do you want to do you want to overwrite it that's the only version I have and so it's going to upload when it's done uploading I'll show you what you can do to then get it to show up here with the proper um, title and you know cover there because at first it's just going to come up with you know just pictures from scenes of the movie but you can then uh, go ahead and come in here and uh, so if you come to for example Santa Claus you come in here um, and you can uh, make sure that you are, are matching it uh, and I'll show you how to do that here with that Polar Express once it uploads. <clears throat> um, that Polar Express is uh, uploading right now and you can see it here okay so I'm in, I'm in my NAS uh, system here and you can see it's a web uh, system it's not uh, it's something you open up on your um, you know your desktop or whatever same thing with Plex it's also web based and so if you <clears throat> when you download Plex and you go to open it <clears throat> from you know maybe down here or something like that you go to open it and it doesn't open it's because you have to go and open a web browser and that's the only way you can access it <clears throat> to go ahead and uh, use it and so anyway this is a <clears throat> this is uploading again you can check the status but I wanted to show you here I just went ahead and did this with Elf here and so these are all the ones that pop up for uh, Elf for example and um, I just want this one right here that has everything uh, that I'll need. Um, I don't need uh, all these other subtitles when I'm going to access it on Plex. And you, you may. Uh, if you do, just don't uncheck them, obviously. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just um, keep the 5.1 English audio. And so, again, I direct this initially to um, a, uh, a folder on my desktop called Movies. And so I'm going to select that. And then you just hit Make MKV. And it's going to go ahead and rip it for you. And then, again, once it's ripped, then I'll drop and drag it over here into my Christmas movies uh, folder. Okay, and so and again, once this Polar Express is done, then I'll show you what you do from that point to make sure that it shows up in Plex. Okay, again, I've already directed it to Plex, right? So when I made my folder, remember when I when I said uh, read only to Plex. So that means Plex is going to see it from my NAS because I've already directed it to there. But I do want to make sure that it has the right title, cover, and everything like that. So I'm going to show you that just in a moment when this is all done, okay? Okay, so I've added uh, ELF as well as the Polar Express. And so uh, you want to make sure that you can get them to populate. Uh, if they don't, you'll have to go in here and hit scan, but you can see that ELF and Polar Express have uh, come up. And uh, previously I changed the name from DVDs to Christmas movies, and so you're just going to make sure when you come in here, if you change the name ever, uh, and you need to go in here and edit it and uh, change the location of, um, for example, you know, the folders, let's say uh, DVDs, we don't, we don't have, that one doesn't exist anymore, and so we're going to get rid of that if it's just called Christmas movies. And so anyway, you can see that this doesn't have uh, the information showing that I want, so how, how do we go in here and, and do that? So we touch this and we hit match. So we're obviously looking for ELF, and so we're going to look at search option. And this was not made in 2020, obviously. Uh, we're going to look for the movie database, and it defaults to this for some reason. We've changed to English and hit search, and you'll see the movie Elf 2003 or whatever it is pop up. Here it is, and hit that, and now you're going to see it change and add uh, that, you know, kind of title and everything. It'll have the cast. It'll change, it'll change the year here in just a moment. See? There you go. Boom. So then now when you access it on your streaming device, you'll see the cast members and all that stuff that's taken from the internet. Uh, and put it in there for you, just like any other streaming service has. So let's do the same thing for Polar Express. Go ahead and uh, hit Match. And we're going to hit Search Options. Delete this year, so we have found to do it. Uh, it defaults to that. We're going to change over here in English. Hit Search. I don't know when this movie was made, but 2004. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit that, and we're going to see it populate there. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you from um, my television, uh, how we can access this. So I have an LG Smart TV. You can also use Apple TV, but I went ahead and I put the app from the LG content store called Plex onto my TV. So, you know, like my other apps, uh, I can access it. And so I'm going to walk over there and show you how this works, okay? All right, I came to the App Store with my Apple TV. My kids are using the other TV, but you can get um, the app.
from the LG content store if you don't have Apple TV. Uh, on this particular one, obviously, I have Apple TV. So I went to App Store. We're going to look for Plex, and we're going to add it. There it is, Plex. So we're going to go ahead and download this. Uh, I'm going to open it up and sign in, and then you'll see um, all those movies uh, that we've already downloaded and put on our server show up here so we can watch them. All right, I downloaded and added Plex as one of our apps to here. So um, I obviously want to move it up so you can kind of do this like you do with anything else. So hold it down and it'll shake and you can add it to uh, your places you want it to go. So, all right, so we put it there. I'm gonna open it up. Here's home. Here's our movies. Um, so when I went in there and did the match part, remember when I changed the match, it'll show you uh, the cast, right? For everybody here. Uh, let's go back um, for each movie. And so um, you don't have to like do anything else other than that. And it'll give you all the information you need uh, for that particular thing. And so um, hit resume, start from the beginning, whatever we want to do. I was obviously watching this earlier. Um, I don't want to get any copyright stuff, so I'll just kind of show you. But there you go. You know, it is a uh, pretty good quality. Uh, an old movie like that. All right, so that was enough of that. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, here, here you have it. This is the way to add all those DVDs, and obviously it's getting close to Christmas time now, uh, to um, your uh, basically own server so that you can access it from your television. Because, um, you know, sometimes some of these movies aren't available on streaming services uh, or might, you know, might go away, like well, the, in the case of Netflix or whatever. But there you go. Here's all of our movies that we have and we own and we've ripped to our server. So there you go. If you have any questions, please uh, comment below. And as always, subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification. And I'll be putting up more videos as the year goes on uh, and changes into a better year, hopefully. Uh, but everyone take care and have a great holiday season.